September 12th, 3 p.m. The girls are already here. You haven't vlogged in a while. I haven't vlogged. I have vlogged. The only day I didn't vlog was Sunday on purpose. Why? And the other ones were short vlogs. I just uploaded them yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you. Um, this is on my ass. <laughs> I woke up today and <clears throat> I thought I was having allergies, so I took a whole bunch of allergy medicine for a long time. Oh. And it wasn't allergies. I took cold medicine immediately. But then that only lasted like two days. Then this morning I wake up and I'm pretty sure I have the flu. I'm pretty sure it feels like it. So um, I'm just now vlogging. I ate some chicken noodle soup earlier. That chicken noodle soup from HEB Ew. was pretty good. The one with broccoli soup is? Yep. Oh, yeah. It was good. <laughs> um, yeah, not feeling. Too good. I don't. I don't get sick often. So I know when I am getting sick, and I'm getting sick. It sucks. Oh, I'm gonna be a big baby and just stay home. <laughs> I'm gonna stay home. So the rest of the week. you're gonna stay home the rest of the week. Yep. I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to H E B because we were fiending. Wing stop. <laughs> but instead. We're going to buy our own wings and our own fries and cook them ourselves. The girls might go to Team Flow. They started last Thursday. Today's Tuesday. They're thinking about it. Let's see what happens. Um, not much else. I'm not going anywhere purposefully. I'm gonna have to go visit Miss Evelyn quickly, but that's about it. And then go home because I do not want to get her sick. I might just message her first because I'm not, I don't believe in taking antibiotics. Antibiotics. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't care what that means. But I'm just gonna stay. Try to stay away. So I don't get anybody else sick except the family. All right. So we're in the HEB parking lot. Miss the spot. Pull around and then I see Sandy, Miss Sandy from Stonegate, and I stop and I just had to tell her thank you because she took the time about an hour and gave me like a small seminar back in the beginning of the year about social media managing and um, tr the truth and just basic truths behind it and it was just had to do with patience and persistence. And because of that, I have the opportunities that I have right now, which are humongous. So I had to stop and tell her thank you. And then it just turned into a really good conversation. So, I feel so good right now. She uh, spoke into my heart just about isolation and uh, being a part of her team again at Stonegate. She missed me, so it felt really good. Um, to hear that and to see her and to have the talk. Oh my gosh, that I turned the car off and that truck was moving. I thought we were moving. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just the universe confirming again my placement, what I need to be doing, where I need to be going, who I need to be plugging into, where I need to be pouring myself into. And that's the season that I'm in. Um, I'm pretty sure for the next 10 to 15 years is what it seems like. I can feel it in my soul that this is a time for me. I've been poured into over the last 20 years and it's time for me to pour into others. And um, yeah, so she was just confirming all that. It feels really good.